Hello everyone, my name is Amrita and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing a quick food tutorial on how to make bunjal shrimp. I recently did a video on how to make dal and today I want to tie those two videos because in that video I mentioned bunjal shrimp or bunjal chicken or one of those things um, that you can eat the dal with. So today I'm actually gonna show you how to make bunjal shrimp. What exactly is bunjal shrimp? It's a curry that's cooked low and slow and you're not using any liquid to cook the curry. So if you're using protein like chicken um, or, or any type of meat, you would wanna like allow that chicken to cook or that protein to cook in its own juice and its own fat. But the shrimp doesn't have a lot of fat. So we'll be adding uh, maybe about two tablespoons to cook this um, curry. And we're gonna go through the bunjay process of cooking curry where you're toasting that curry up. And um, I'm gonna actually show you the difference between bunjal and bunjay. Bunjay means you're browning the curry, like toasting it, and bringing out its flavor. And um, bunjal is actually the actual dish um, that we're actually making. For this recipe, we'll be using a type of shrimp that's called a white belly shrimp. You can find these in a West Indian grocery store to sell meat and fish. If not, you can choose to use the larger shrimp without the shell. To begin with, we're adding three tablespoons of olive oil to a pan that's already heated. To that pan, we're adding about two cups of white belly shrimp. We're looking to do a quick flash fry, not really brown the shrimp in any way or change the color. We're just looking to evaporate any moisture or liquid that's remaining after washing the shrimp. This would result in a crunchier shrimp. Um, when we bunjal the shrimp. If you're using the larger shrimp without the shell, I suggest you skip this step and go ahead to the bunjal process. The shrimp have been cooking for about a few minutes and as you can see, all of that moisture have evaporated. We'll remove from heat and we'll set aside. Next, we're crushing one scotch bonnet pepper, four cloves of garlic, two blades of scallion, and about four to six blades of culantro. I'm using a mortar and pestle to crush these ingredients, but you can also use a food processor or a blender, which will give you the same result. To the garlic mixture we've just made, we're adding two teaspoons of curry powder, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of jeera. Jira is a roasted uh, grounded cumin that we get in Guyana and over here in the West Indian grocery store. We will also add about two tablespoons or so of water and then mix all of those ingredients together to form a paste. Place a saute pan on medium heat and add two tablespoons of olive oil. Allow that olive oil to come up to temperature and then we'll add one cup of chopped onion one scotch bonnet pepper, one plump tomato chopped, and also half of a mango, uh, green mango that we've already chopped. We're gonna allow those ingredients to saute for about one minute or so before we add the curry paste. Our vegetables have been cooking for about a minute, and now we will go ahead and add the curry paste. This process is called bunjay in Guyana. Bunjay is to saute or toast the beautiful spices within the curry and allowing the curry to develop and release its flavor. The longer we cook the curry, the more intense the flavor will be. We'll be cooking this curry paste from three to five minutes. You'll also see the curry paste transition from a bright yellow to a deep, dark, rich, golden tone. And that's a good indication we've cooked this curry properly. Our curry paste has been cooking for about three minutes or so, and as you can see, it's starting to adhere to the bottom of the pan. If you find this happening, just add about a tablespoon or so of water, and it will help release any of those bits and pieces. It's important to stir and move that curry around and uh, prevent any sticking from occurring. And also, if you find your heat is too strong, just reduce it slightly and continue cooking the curry for the full, full five minutes. Now that we've cooked our curry paste, we're adding some fresh Cuban oregano leaves, 
which is known as broadleaf thyme in Guyana. You can also choose a different herb like a, a cilantro, culantro, or even fine thyme, which works very well in curries. We're also adding the shrimp that we've set aside and one teaspoon of salt or to taste and some freshly cracked black pepper. You're gonna wanna give this a quick stir and make sure all of these ingredients are incorporated properly. Next, we'll place a lid and allow the shrimp to cook for 20 to 25 minutes on maybe medium or a little less than medium. While the shrimp is cooking, make sure to lift that lid up and check on the shrimp, give it a quick stir, make sure the curry paste is not adhering to the bottom and um, if that occurs, please drop a few tablespoons or so of water and that will help pick up any of those pieces. Our shrimp have been cooking for about 20 minutes or so and now we'll give it a quick stir to make sure there's no bits and pieces stuck to the bottom of the pan. Also, because we had the lid on the entire cooking process, the 20 minutes of cooking, that uh, helped create steam and moisture, which prevents some of that curry paste from um, sticking to the bottom of the pan. Now we'll leave the lid off and allow the shrimp to cook for an additional five minutes to evaporate any moisture. Our shrimp is finished and ready to enjoy. And as you can see, all of that moisture have evaporated with that last five minutes of cooking. Now we're left with a dry curry and um, each individual shrimp is coated with the beautiful curry paste. And that's exactly what um, bonjal is. It's meant to have barely or um, no liquid. And you'll also see the shrimp have taken on like this glossiness to the exterior. And that's because we did the flash fry in the earlier stage and remove any of that moisture um, from the shrimp. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and also hit like below and um, happy cooking. Enjoy.